Hey there folks. So Limbo Restaurant is located within the Ambar part of the resort. As you'd expect, you'll be able to book a table at Limbo if you are staying in the Ambar Resort. Also if you're staying in the Esmeralda Resort and you're over 18 and also Aquamarine allows you access to this restaurant. Limbo tends to be classed as the gourmet restaurant for the resort. It tends to be our favourite for our first night and our last night. Some of the restaurants have welcome drinks. So this is the welcome cocktail menu. There are three options. The yellow one is the angel kiss and the pink is the framboesa, if I've said that right. This purple one with the apple slices is the Picasso. Can't really say we have a favourite. All three are very delicious. Limbo has a four course menu which starts off with the appetizer. Over three trips, we have been to Limbo six times and had the scallops five times. They're always perfectly cooked and very delicious. And this is a picture of the lettuce bouquet from a previous trip. The waiter recommended the sea urchin last time, so I gave that a try and it was really, really tasty. And Kendall tried the chocolate clams, which he also enjoyed, but I think he probably would have preferred the scallops. Next up's the starters. This is my favourite. This is the shrimp. I like the crispy texture and the sauce is nice, but there's also a nice kind of paste underneath. I think it's maybe a cauliflower paste. In one of our recent visits, the presentation of the prawns was slightly different, but I still really enjoyed it. This is the poached egg that Kendall's having, and he really enjoys that. Another one of Kendall's favourites is the Boletus cappuccino, which is mushroom in flavour. This is a photo of the tuna from a previous trip. I can't say it was particularly memorable. And this is the steak tartare. I really do enjoy it. The mustard is a nice flavour and it's my favourite when I'm not in the mood for the prawn. The main courses are a good selection and a good quality, but I have to say I do prefer the appetisers and the starters. I find them more exciting. The turbot was really flavoursome and well seasoned. The quinoa mousse that it came with was fine. Kendall had the lamb, and I was quite jealous actually because it looked tasty and different to the last time I had it. So this is how the lamb looked on our previous visit. So it was rolls of lamb rather than kind of a lamb steak as such, but Kendall explained that his lamb meal was still that sort of roll, so it wasn't like a, a full kind of fillet of lamb. We both had the tenderloin one evening, it was nice. It was nice. I would say the potatoes tasted like they had been frozen. It just had a flavour to it that made me feel like it wasn't fresh. But it was still a really enjoyable dish. I find the desserts on the buffet in Ambar less sweet than what I like. So I do look forward to the a la carte for the desserts. This is the chocolate textures. It's a chocolate cake really. Um, it was really good though. Satisfied my chocolate cravings. Kendall had the caramelised cinnamon mousse, which was tasty, but was a bit confusing compared to the description. Not a huge cinnamon flavour, and the ice cream was essentially rum and raisin. This is the lemon cloud, and I really enjoyed it. It's like a raw meringue on top with some bitter lemon sauce underneath. And I chose the chocolate textures again, slightly differently presented this time, and it comes with a white chocolate and passion fruit soup. I do recommend booking one or two visits to Limbo during your stay. The food is really good quality, and it's a nice break from the buffet. Hope you enjoy!